Do you find it difficult to find the correct shade of foundation for your skin tone? Do you know the right way to apply your foundation? Don't you worry girls, in this video I am going to share all the points that will help you in getting the foundation look like a pro in no time. Hi you guys, I am Sneha Pridarshini and welcome back to my YouTube channel Dreamboard Sneha. If you are new to my YouTube channel then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and do press the bell icon so that you get notification whenever I post any new video. On that note, let's get started. First and the most important point that you girls should take care of the whenever you are trying a foundation then please never test it on your wrist. Always test it on your cheeks because you want a foundation that should match with your face color and not with your wrist because uh, many times it happens that your wrist color may be whiter or darker than your face skin tone. So it's always, always recommended to try and test a foundation on your cheeks. So this is the important tip that I can give you girls. Now coming to the second point, what color you should look for when you are trying to find a perfect match for a foundation on your skin. You should never go with a shade which is whiter than your shade. You should always match with the skin tone you have. Matlab the almost perfect match to your skin tone. I know girls, I am also guilty of choosing a um, foundation of shade whiter than my skin tone. Like that's our tendency. I know you must be thinking she is fair then also she wants to look more fair. But yeah, yeah, I'm also like you girls only. I also had that mindset. But now I have changed that mindset because I know the right way of applying the foundation. And that's why I'm sharing with the girls as well. So now to help you girls in finding the right shade, I have this palette with me. And I'll show you how I'm gonna sh um, find the perfect match for my skin tone. So... Right now, I think uh, the colors that uh, looks almost same to my skin tone are this one that I'll try. This one is also fine. And this one. So these three shades are the shades that I'm thinking might go with my skin tone. So what I'll do now is I'll take a brush or I can do with my finger if it's clean. But today I'm taking a brush. So I'll take in a foundation brush or any brush for that matter. I'll take a little bit of it on my brush and I'll apply it here on my cheeks. Okay. So this is the shade one, this one. Now I'll apply this shade, the second one. I'll clean my brush. I have cleaned it and now I'll go with the second shade. And I'll apply it just right next to this shade. Okay. Now um, it's time to apply the third shade that I think uh, is almost same as my skin tone. This one. And I'll apply it right here. Okay. So now girls you can see that I have those three shades on my cheeks. Now I'll try to blend it. I'm not sure girls if you can see it but the last one the third shade when I blended it it all it almost blended as my skin tone so the third shade this one this one the third shade is the winner so if I have to apply a foundation or I'm looking for a foundation from this palette then I'll go with that shade so this is how you choose like if you are finding it difficult to choose among the three, four colors, you just apply it on your cheeks and try to blend it out. And uh, if you blend it and um, then you see that it, and it has almost blended as your skin tone, then that is the right foundation for your skin tone. Now girls, coming to the third point. So third point, uh, I'll tell you all the steps that you need to do before you apply your foundation. 
so the first step is um, using a face wash or cleanser to clean your face which is very important to remove any dust that would have deposited on your skin the second thing is applying a toner which can be skipped but i'll always recommend to apply it third is applying a moisturizer according to your skin type and this step cannot be skipped at all because um, uh, moisturizing will give hydration to your skin which is very important before you go ahead with your uh, foundation now the fourth step uh, that i'll uh, recommend you girls to use it applying a primer so once your moisturizer has got dried you should apply a primer that will give a, a smooth canvas to your skin before you can move ahead with your foundation now applying a primer can be skipped by girls who are in their early 20s or are quite young and if you have very good skin and smooth skin then yes you can skip applying a primer and you can go ahead with your foundation so this is the third point wherein i told you about all the things that you should do before you go ahead with your foundation all right now the fourth point how you have to apply your foundation so you can apply a foundation using your fingers you can apply it using a foundation brush you can use a beauty blender to apply it so there are many ways and it depends on person to person and their preference what uh, way they use so um, if you ask me i use fingers i use a foundation brush i use a beauty blender like it depends it's totally on my mood and the kind of foundation i'm working with sometimes i also use um, a foundation brush to apply my foundation and then i'll use my beauty blender to blend it perfectly so it's like entirely your choice like it will differ from person to person you have to see what works best for you so i can only tell the methods but it's a um, totally your personal choice and then uh, the fifth point how you have to apply it like um, i'm taking my foundation the one that i selected earlier so you have to always apply the foundation in downward direction like this okay because your facial hair uh, also goes in the downward direction and you don't want to move your um, foundation brush or your fingers or beauty blender in the opposite direction of your facial hair it will give your foundation very cakey and very bad look so if you want to blend your foundation perfectly and uh, flawlessly then this is the way you have to always go in the downward direction like this and also note that where you have this tiny tiny hair like i have here i need to blend there a bit more than my other face parts because here the product tends to get um, deposited and that doesn't look flattering at all so i guess these are the points uh, that if you take care of then you will be able to apply your foundation like a pro but yes do remember practice makes perfect so you need to practice and then you will be flawless yaar so yes girls i am applying it i've already applied on this part of my face and can you see this looks uh, more fresh than this side and yes this is the perfect uh, foundation shade for my skin tone Okay girls let me finish this and I'll come back So girls I have applied the foundation using a foundation brush and then I use beauty blender to give it a flawless look I hope you guys find this video helpful and if you do then please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up You can also follow me on Instagram. I go with the same name, Dreamboat Sneha. Also, guys, it will be helpful if you leave um, comments in the comment section and let me know how you liked this video and what kind of makeup videos you want to see next. And on that note, it's a bye. So I'll see you soon in my next video. Till then, bye.